Hey there, Posse. There is a whole slew of false facts and myths floating around about wine. I've been on this campaign to, to bust these myths, you know, get rid of them from the, the entire market. <laughs> Actually, you can be a part of this noble enterprise. I hope you join me. I'm convinced that great minds drink alike. Now, it's important to note, getting these myths right won't solve the world's problems. <laughs> but it's also important to remember, wine may not solve our problems, but actually neither will water or milk. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on, let's go. I'm Pierre and welcome to Ask the Wine Consultants. Now in this particular episode we'll be busting uh, about a dozen or so wine myths. These are going to be rapid fire so hold on here we go. Myth number one red wine always goes with red meat white wine with white meat. Now the reality is well this guideline can work it's not a strict rule Pairing wine with food depends on more, really a whole lot more, on flavors, sauces, and the preparation of, of the entire dish rather than the color of the meat. Now, myth number two, wine legs, which are also known as tears, uh, indicate quality. The longer the legs, the better the quality. The reality is the appearance of legs or tears on the side of, of a wine glass after swirling it is due to alcohol content and viscosity and to some degree or another the amount of RS, residual sugars, not quality. They don't necessarily um, correlate with the wine's flavor or body. Now the next myth is screw cap wines are inferior to corks. Screw caps can actually preserve wine's freshness better than corks and eliminate the risk of cork taint, TCA contamination. Uh, many high quality wines now use screw caps. <laughs> By the way, how do you decide on how much wine to drink? You know, I take it on a case by case basis. Okay, our next myth is all old wine is good wine. Now the reality is not all wines improve with age. While some wines benefit from aging, others are meant to drink and be enjoyed young and fresh. Age worthiness depends on factors like uh, grape varietal, winemaking styles, and storage conditions. Most everything we buy in the store uh, today generally is ready to drink. You can hold on to most of, of these wines, you know, for whites, three to five years from vintage date, and for reds, about five to eight years from vintage date. Next up is wine should always be aerated before drinking. While aerating wine can enhance its flavors and, and aromas, not all wines benefit from extensive aeration. Some, di some delicate wines may lose some of their freshness if exposed to too much air. How are you doing there? Is this information helpful and making sense? If it is, write Asti in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, back to busting myths. Expensive wine glasses enhance wine quality. Actually, I've done uh, several episodes on this topic. Now, while quality glasses can enhance the, the sensory experience, expensive wine glasses are not essential for enjoying wine. Specifically designed and, and engineered glasses can and do capture and, and maximize the aromas and flavors of your wine. However, odor-free glasses of any shape can still allow you to, to appreciate the wine's characteristics. Our next myth is sweet wines are inferior to dry wines. 
Now the reality is the sweetness in a wine is stylistic, a stylistic choice and not an indication of quality. Some of the world's finest and most expensive and celebrated wines are Sauternes and German Rieslings. They're sweet. Wine labels are always reflective of quality. Now wine labels can, can be misleading. They often emphasize marketing rather than quality. A, a beautiful label doesn't guarantee the wine inside is exceptional. Now, a sophisticated producer knows that the reason an individual initially buys a bottle of wine is because of the beautiful label. It appeals to the individual. Our next is wine should always be stored upright. Wine bottles with cork closures should be stored horizontally. This is called laying your wine down. This keeps the cork moist. Screw caps and synthetic closures allow for vertical storage without affecting the wine's quality. Myth number, actually whatever this is, is all rosé wine is sweet. Rosé wines vary widely in, in sweetness levels from bone dry to, to off dry. Uh, the color of rosé comes from the limited contact with the grape skins during fermentation, not sweetness. Now next up is expensive wine is always better. Now price does not always equate to quality. Many affordable wines are excellent and personal taste plays a significant role in wine enjoyment. Actually, some expensive wines may not appeal to everyone while some inexpensive wines can be very delightful. That's my specialty, the best wines in the world under $15. Now the next myth is red wine should be served at room temperature. Now the ideal serving temperature for red wine uh, is, is cooler than most room temperatures. It's around 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 to 18 degrees Celsius. Serving red wine too warm can make it taste like uh, uh, an overly uh, alcoholic wine. Now next up is white wine is only for summer. <laughs> Whites can be enjoyed year round. Richer fuller body wines like Chardonnay or Vignet can, can be perfect for cooler weather and heartier, heavier dishes. Now here's another myth. Only red wine can age well. While many people think only red wines improve with age, Certain white wines like Rieslings and Chardonnays and actually some dessert wines can also age beautifully and develop complex flavors over time. Hey folks, I don't know exactly how many myths we, we've busted, but uh, that should do it for now. These myths really do highlight the, the rich history, cultural significance, and uh, enjoyment of wine while dispelling and debunking misconceptions uh, and, and offering insight into the world of viticulture and winemaking. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about wine, click like, subscribe, and hit the little bell to be notified when there's a new post. Also, it's important to remember, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy wine, and that's kind of the same thing. Okay, that's enough for today. See you the next time. Cheers. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time. Cheers.